Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, okay. I mean, this game will probably only be like 12 episodes. What was my objective? I super didn't even pay attention. Yeah, if I, if... Like it's a secret of some kind. Ah. Ow. Ow. Oh, fuck. Ow. Up. Up. I don't want to bother with coins Up. anymore. Is, Up. Up. is there another great sand waterfall somewhere? Keep the hat wearing the hat like long Up. after. Up. Ha. 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 Push this through. Up. Huh, that's a good one to get right now. They see pushes blocks fast. This is the first time they've asked me to push a fucking block in this game. I think it is. I don't think they've ever asked me to push blocks before. <clears throat> I imagine probably because they couldn't get like the physics down for it. I just think of the boxes have like physics to them, so they get like pushed up and pushed over and shit. Which is really strange that they would take that time and not just position them so that they don't, like, get knocked the fuck over. It was mostly just a weird choice. this your why is this the thing those residents start the episode I'm gonna guess that or not that inside the episode I realized I didn't start my timer be for let go Something positive to come out of my curiosity. 
and not just infinite failure and crippling depression. <laughs> Missing one. TNT. Must be the uh up, up. Yep. Oh, golden gear. Up. Oh he's got the old man's got another one of these fucking things going on. Up. Which this thing tells me there's a fossil like right here. Asshole up. I mean, yeah, once I got used to the game and how it works and their own, this game's weird limitations on its initial systems. It's, you know, it's, just, it's a fine game. I'm trying to think of how to word this game aside from it's fine. This game does its job. It's not like. Not gonna be out there dishing out tens to this game, you know. I'm gonna be out there being like, eh, the worst I'd ever rate this game is like a is like a six and a half. It does everything you want a platformer platformer to do, and it does it, and it does it, it does everything to a degree that I would label as playable. the other locations then legendary sand bird egg okay secret sandfall up, up. and I'm not gonna run across the map and go get it. Unless she happens to be over there. Hey. Sure. I'm gonna play back in hide and seek. I'm gonna run and hide and she'll find me. Find me, I'll give you something extra special if you want a clue. See, so yeah, I've always wanted to hide out in my own treehouse. Really, let's go. Let's not pod, no, I don't. You can see her from where I'm standing. If this was real hide and seek, you just yell at him and be like, you fuck! <laughs> this is not a little late. I don't know how often you've spent playing hide and seek, but I've never really seen anybody quite as bad at it as you. You're a special kind of bad, and you should feel bad. I am a child. Listen. I'm not saying they should have considered just getting you out of the way at a younger age. Those fucking turtles. But I'm strongly implying that. What the fuck is that? Something I don't recognize. Last area, probably. Yep. They'll have it. <laughs> Got it. Radio tower repair. Hmm. 
That's one thing in Super Mario 64 that I was a little, uh, I just thought it was a little strange. Okay, I'm gonna try and get up here and get this egg out of the way. Get all my location. Get all my geolocations done. Last medallion. Yeah. Nice. Just to turn them all in. Like that. So that they match the like shadow outline. So it's Fiesta. Okay. I'm back to where I was. Game crash. Is this all it needs me to do is just this? Yes! Still green. Right, I forgot to pick that shit up again. We done do that, that's for sure. Hop in here real quick. Anything else will do. Last to explore. See, I like how it's not different costumes, it's just different colors for your costumes. It's like the constellation oh. prize. Uh -huh. I found the thoughts of a silver reward. See, I got this game for free, like to, like they didn't, it's not like, the developers didn't like give it to me or some shit. I got off of Twitch Prime, um, so like I'm also probably inherently being nicer to the game because of that. But I mean, I may mean, not. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell how biased I'm being towards the game because I can be really harsh on games I really like, like Undertale and stuff like that. Alright, I wanted to go check out this random looking tree over here. Yahoo! What the hell is this over here? Just a random island? A hole? Secretly, the last boss. Ooh, golden game. Is that one of the secret ones? Is. Welcome to the world famous Molis Molis Molisium. Is it supposed to be Molis Mausoleum? Heard of it? Jeez, don't get rid of kids. Anyway, step right up and defeat all the baddies for a shiny prize. Don't come grind me if you get beat up. like your battle arena. <laughs> okay, game. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but yeah, sure, why not? I'll, I'll run through this a couple of times and just get this out of the way. Back from my punishment. Lady, I didn't even take a hit last time. Oh, this one actually should be a bit harder. Okay, first of all, I go to this asshole. 
It's like a fucking farty noise when you kill him. I mean, I guess it's accurate, right? <laughs> when you die, you push out everything. Everything comes out of you. That's usually the part they leave out. And yes. Movies and TV is the part where you expend your bowels. Which, you know, I don't blame them. Also, I'm out of coffee now, which is severely disappointing. This could be interesting. That's a good way to get fucking pictures of enemies, eh? These enemies all use, like, different... Like, noises and stuff, eh? That's a... You're digging for positives at that point. This is Mole can fucking solo me. 1v1 me scrap. <laughs> It's so weird that, like, the moles and stuff like that leave behind, like, slippery terrain when you kill them. Like, the kill doesn't, like, isn't, like, decorative, or you can just, it's just, like, a bump you can walk over or something. It's just, like, it's just, like, a thing. Alright, I'm looking at this. Mini games. What have I what do I need to do still? There's the flying one I need to do. Because I think I only did the first level of the flying one. I definitely need a golden gear out of the flying one. Oh right, that's not the golden gear right in there. I did get it. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of thinking they're gonna pull that good old dick move on me. Where they're like, oh yeah, I mean, realize that you uh, jump off the edge and have like a pull up time, but it's gonna be like exact, so if you don't pull up just in time, you miss like the first ring. I don't think they'll ever pull that. Like, the thing that I get about this game is that I feel like it's aimed at younger kids and stuff like that. Like, it's not meant to be for, like, like, people who like, like, older people who like platformers like me. You know? Ooh, this is neat. It's like, they have all these platforms like all these pillars spread out, but like, what are these doing for me? It isn't gonna murder me. They're not gonna like, they're not moving. Let's see if the hard one's actually like, hard one might actually be like hard. So we'll see how that pans out, I guess. Awesome. Looks there's 
five secrets, right? So there's the bomb. There's, there's the bomb one. There's what the fuck was the canyon one over there? I don't remember. The bomb was the archaeologist. There's the flying one. Challenges those and just an instant lost challenge. Oh, it's one of these fucking things. No, except there's only one on the way in and one on the way out, so the strings in between are literally no problem with. <laughs> This game. Game, you're cute. Oh, oh, you do that. Half the reasons I die in this game is because I take this game too light, like, way too lightly. Even for like any like reasonable standards, you know. Ooh, spinning donuts. I saw the Katakuri fight. I know how dangerous donuts are. Oh god. I like how they don't, like, limit me in this area. So, like, there's a course, but the course is just kind of subjective. It's just like, did you miss? Eh, try it again. Swing back around, lad. Give it another shot. Cry yourself to sleep. Thanks. These donuts are probably the hardest thing here. Half of them aren't even moving. I feel like glide controls are like. Yes! That's fine. I think the flying controls are fun. That's what I'll say. I want like crap on the flying controls. What the hell was that canyon now? now I'm just kind of curious because I don't remember. This, I think it was something I didn't want to do. Okay, now if I remember properly, the guy said that they're never in the same spot twice. Also near. That's where I expect to blow all my money. Good idea to put the files side by side because you're paranoid to keep digging around stuff. That's it's, it's, it's actually. I'll give them that one. That's actually not a bad way to do stuff. Because I walked away from it thinking I'm gonna try and poke at some other spots. Am I looking at the completionism of this? The sky. I assume the last gear must spawn on this island when I get like. when I get the fourth island here. So that's how that's absolutely how I would do it. Uh what am I missing? The turtle, right. I need to try and snap a picture of one of those turtles. 
Oh, I bet that's the, uh, the friendly in the last area. What is that? Was there a boss in the last area? Is there a boss in the sinking sands? I don't remember seeing a boss. <laughs> there wasn't a boss in the last area. I like how I just came to that realization just now. So I guess one is like the final boss. There's like an area and then there's like a boss in the next area. And then... Is that it? Let me talk to him. I won't make my friend medallion. I like how they don't like stack it, so then I'll just give them to them all at once. There is one thing. Yes. Like, I love Super Mario Odyssey. But at the end of the game, they have, like, a, an achievements milestone checklist. Where you talk to Toadette in Peach's Castle, and she's like, Oh, you did this? Cool. Here you go. And then she just, like, starts giving you power moons. And, like, they're like, I jumped a thousand times. Here's a power moon. And then they'll be another one for, like, 5,000 times or some shit. Or you head, head stomped X amount of enemies or did X amount of things. So it's like, it's just like a, a completionist checklist, right? Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. It's a little, a little weird that they opted to go for that. Um... Yeah, fuck. Probably gonna finish this game. I'm in next play session of this, because I usually do them in threes. So, I mean, there are probably, like, 13 episodes of this. Probably do three, and then I'll have, like, one more episode of me just running around finishing the game. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please do all things. I'll see you in the next episode.